Ladies and gentlemen, it isn't often that we get on our show a family group such as the one we have with us tonight. A mother and a father and seven children. I want to show you a picture of a wonderful American family. Mr. and Mrs. Roy Rogers and children. Hi, uh, Rogers family. Hello, Mr. Como. It's a talking picture, too. Hmm? <laughs> Not only is it a talking picture, but it's a singing picture. Watch this, Mitch. If you've got friends and neighbors, all the world is a happier place. And what a beautiful bunch of children. Thank you, Perry. We're real proud of our kids because, after all, five of them chose to adopt us as parents. <laughs> and friends, the Roy Rogers Day 11 story is one of the most heartwarming stories that we've ever heard. I know that you would like to meet the youngsters personally and sort of have them tell you their names. So we'll start from the, the tall one here. Cheryl, would you like to start it off, honey? Cheryl, age 16, Dallas, Texas. Marion, 15, Edinburgh, Scotland. Linda, 13, Hollywood, California. Dusty, 10, Hollywood, California. Sandy, Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, age 9, Kentucky. <laughs> Okay, again. One more, Sandy. Sandy, age nine, Kentucky. Dodie Watson, Fallen Soul, Texas. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and you say yours now, Debbie. Debbie Watson, Fallen Soul, in Korea. Korea! <laughs> Texas. Texas. We love that. Texas. Well, does that take care of everybody? Hmm? No. I'm Frankie Gallup, over 21, from nowhere. And I hate to intrude on this lovely family scene, but our family of stations is threatening to cut us off without a cent if we don't take time out for station break. We'll be back before you can say, as the twig is bent, so grows the tree. What would you like, a nice... <laughs> would you like a nice little uh, short bob, maybe, huh? He says he prefers a ponytail. Right. <laughs> well, I'll do my best, Roy. Uh, are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh, sure I'm sure I know what I'm doing. I just want to make sure you're sure. <laughs> i tell you what you do, Roy. You put your six-shooter away, and I'll put mine away. That isn't a six-shooter. It's a pair of shears. 
Better knock off more people with these than you have with that. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> about the clouds if we're together. Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to and having all those kids around in the morning with only one bathroom? <laughs> oh, oh, hi. <laughs> We've uh, had it. <laughs> can't tell you how much we appreciate having you on the show. Uh, well, it's right. been a lot of fun, thank Perry, you. and I'd like to thank our sponsors, Post Cereals, General Foods, for making it possible. Well, thank you. I'd like to thank him, too. For uh, Thank you, gentlemen, for allowing us to have uh, Roy and Dale for one day. And by the way, what, what happened to the other member of the family? You mean Trigger? Yeah. Well, he's a little miffed because you didn't ask him to dance. <laughs> now, don't tell me he dances. Oh, sure, I'll go get him. Why, Perry, didn't you know that horse dances? He's another Catherine Murray. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.